I'm on my way to Alex. He can probably help me out with a couple of things. He lives in a nice place, man. Spectrum analyzer. Ah, yeah. We can use this one to uh, to test um, yeah, to align them, uh, our antennas. antennas. Yes. Uh -huh. Have you had it yet? Have you had it Have you had it yet? Yes. 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 Have you had it yet? Yeah, well, they say it can do like 14 kilometers. Oh, or more. And uh, you think more? Mm, yes. Yeah. It's not a problem to have uh, to have 20 or 30 kilometers uh -huh. if you have a, a free line of sight. Uh -huh. Then it's no problem at all. All right. And you can do it with uh, with. 10 or 20 milliwatts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's more. Let me mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think the best uh, thing to do is to measure first the power output power mm -hmm. on this one. As I understand, it's like one for the control and one for video. Or what? Oh, do you think so? Because in the in the software I always have uh, mm -hmm. two icons with bars that, that shows mm -hmm. uh, how good the signal is, mm -hmm. and one is for control and the other one is for video. And I I often uh, I lose video before I lose control. Yeah. I thought it was a uh, diversity antenna, uh -huh. and this uh, meant for uh, control only. No, because I get the video signal video through si this. Okay, video I, I get the video signal. And the video, uh, sig video signal is coming out of this one? Yeah. yeah. It's one not 5.8 gigahertz? Okay. I don't think so, because, okay. because both are 2.4 over here. Okay. And it says 2.4. Okay. So we are uh, going to, to measure it first. Mm -hmm. You see, you can learn something from this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I need a 50 ohm terminating resistor. We don't want to blow up the transmitter, so... Or is it... It's out and in? Or yeah. Because yeah. You, need, you need two way communication. Or yes. You need, you need uh -huh. out and in. Out and in, yes. I so, this, so this is out. This is the out at 2.4, yeah. and I suppose this is 5.8 or 6 coming in. Coming in, yeah. oh because yeah. I don't see anything there. Yeah. I'm doubting about that because I see two exactly the same antennas here. Yeah. One antenna should be different than the other. Maybe they both work on 2.4. Both are 2.4. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it can so in time division multiplex signal because because uh, from the Phantom 4 Pro they say oh we are using 5.8 gigahertz so I think this one is not using that frequency yet mm -hmm. because over here it says 2.4 and the other one it also says yeah. 2.4 yeah. so mm -hmm. so I think this one will be uh, the transmit antenna this will be the receive antenna yeah. both on 2.4 gigahertz yeah. yes. Uh -huh. But they cannot be uh, transmit the, at the same time, on the same frequency. So it means that you need to transmit and then cancel transmitting and then receive it. Transmit, receive, transmit, receive. Mm -hmm. That will happen, I think. You cannot transmit on the frequency mm -hmm. and receive on the same frequency at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of time uh, multiplexing system. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't know how the Chinese do this, <laughs> but... Uh, but they do it. <laughs> they do it somehow, do it. so... Uh, right there. Okay, we're we going to figure out how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we split off. This is echt wat professioneel is. He says that this is the professional solution. <laughs> 
this is just a lot better than uh, mm-hmm. than than the stock antenna. Yes, it is. Yeah, but but um, every antenna has some gain. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so how how do you figure out what the gain will be of this one? Yeah, and yeah. And, and this one. Okay. In that case, we have to set up a measurement. Mm-hmm. This is a transmitting antenna and a receiving antenna. We can also use this one. Ah. Wow. Whoa. Seriously, this is this is for Wi-Fi too. This is like like directional or yes, something. Yes. Like, uh, yes. We are making a setup here. Like this goes to a antenna. We have to have a fixed distance. So first we put the, this antenna over here and then later on we will put the other one over here and then we can compare how the signals are uh, transmitted and how they're doing. That, that's the idea, right? Eh? Yes. This antenna compared to a regular small one is like three one third better than this one. This one is three one third better than this one. All right. And now we can do the same with, with this one. Okay, with this. This one uh, performs uh, similar as the circular one. Yeah. It's the same result, yeah. uh, but the only thing what's better about this one is it's boosted. Yeah. But if you would boost this one, you would get the same. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. On this way. Yeah. 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 And I, I learned something about circular. Polarization. Vertical and horizontal polarization. Mm-hmm. And you have left hand polarization. And, and left, left hand pol- polarization left hand. and right hand polarization. Circular. Wow. Circular. Left and right hand circular polarization. Okay, left hand and right hand circular polarization. Or actually, you have four types of polarization of the signal. Much more. Much more! <laughs> it's even more! <laughs> Okay, I think the Chinese are very good in this stuff. Or the, but it's not like one polarization is better than the other. It's more like it's just uh, like this. Sir, and, and, and antenna and receiver have to match. Yes, they have to match. But in fact, circular polarization is better. It's better because a drone can turn this way or yeah. this way or just. Yeah. yeah like and that. then uh, circular yeah. is better. So that means that this one, it maybe has like the same level of the signal. Is that right, dB? Mm, yes. But it's better no. in receiving it. Yeah. It's, when it's your when your antenna of the other point yeah. is the same yeah. as this one. But we, we we don't know for sure yet what the what the antenna f- of the drone is or. Mm, no. No, the antenna of the drone seems to be. Uh, vertical, I think. Yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. No, I have no idea. <laughs> this is all. Uh, yeah. We, we can we can check it. We can check that. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna get the drone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm having the drone here now. So it seems like the drone has um, uh, a vertical polarization. It seems that the antenna is vertical. Polarized. This one is vertical. It polarized. seems, yes. Yeah. The, the big difference is, is the boosted uh, antenna. These little things are the big difference. All right. Well, now uh, we have to test this in the field. First, we're going to have lunch. Yeah.